In this variant of the CNC process, I'll use AutoCAD as the CAD and CAMBAM for the CAM. And I'll be making a vertical parts holder for my lead screws and rails and uh, various other scrap material that needs to be held in a vertical format. And I want to make something that will sort of sit in the corner of my my um, my shop. So in this particular video, I want to show you the process from the CAD to CAM and then to final cutting it out on the CNC machine. So I call that uh, CAD, CAM, and CNC. Um, you can also call it CAD, CAM, control. So I'm going to go ahead and start drawing in AutoCAD. The last time I did it was in uh, CAM BAM. I did everything in the CAM program. I did all of the uh, the CAD work in the CAM program. I didn't really go into the into depth with it, but um, in this particular video, I want to show a variation of using CAD instead of going into dr directly into a CAM program. So using a full uh, full fledged CAM pro or CAD program. Uh, so what I want to do is I know my dimensions uh, at least my dimensions for um, depth and width, but my height I don't know yet. And I know I want to make a lot of layers. So when I start to design this, you'll start to see uh, what I'm talking about. So I'm going to start with drawing a line. Actually, I'm going to draw a, a rectangle. Uh, so I can just press the REC button. Um, I can type REC. And then I can... Actually, you know what? This, in this... In this case, I want to draw a line because I want to specify the the length of it first. So I want this to be 29 inches by 10.5 inches. I'm going to make it 10 inches just so I have a little bit of room left over. And then when I I can also infer some information here if I drag it over here. I'm using the L for line. I lost the inference. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I know I'm going to be aligned to that point. All right, so I have a rectangle. And what I want to do is I want to make uh, a lot of holes, a whole bunch of holes, so I can uh, make this one stackable. So it's going to stack to, uh, it's going to be spaced apart um, and stacked quite high. I think I probably want it to stack at least high enough that I'm, I'm going to be able to get some longer pieces into this structure and not um, hit the ceiling, but um, or low enough at least to do that, but high enough that they can be stable and I can hold different lengths. So I know the largest piece would be probably my rails that have, um, it's a 20 millimeter round rail that has a, uh, let's see, a mount on it. So let me make a, a measurement of that. Okay, I measured it to be 1.73, so I'm going to make the holes 2 inches in diameter. So I'm just going to make a whole bunch of um, circles. I'm going to show it to you from the beginning. Alright, so I'm going to press the C button for circles. I can also go over here and click it, but I always use the keyboard when I'm using AutoCAD. And I'm just going to make a circle um, 2 inches in this would be this would be one inches in radius, so two inches, two inches in diameter. Let's just check that to make sure. Okay, so I have a diameter of two inches. That's good. So I'm going to uh, move that over here. I could be more specific, like starting. Uh, let's see. I could start from. Let's see right here. Look at that. The um, the snapping, I had the uh, intersection on, and my inference actually coincided with this, but not the actual corner. So I can move this using the M command, and I can go I can go in this direction or this direction, or even in um, different angles. So let's go in this direction, and I'll go let's say 2.5 inches. And then I'll go up 2.5 inches. Let's see, does that seem... No, I can go a little closer, I think. What would this be? So it shows me about one inch here. 
I'm gonna go back to one inch because I was going from the diameter, so that makes sense. Okay, so that looks a lot better. I think I have enough material here to be um, to be uh, have enough structure to maintain its structure. I'm gonna have a lot of these anyway, so I don't think that's a big deal. So I'm gonna copy this. Uh, let's see what it tells me. About two point yeah, two point five is probably good. Yeah, that's good. Then I can actually copy this with a CP command, and my base point is going to be here, and then I use this as the second point, and then I can keep going up. It looks like I've run out of space. I'm wondering, would I be able to do this and still maintain some structure? Let's see, how much space do I have here? Let's see, from the quadrant to here is quarter inch, and it gets bigger on the other sides. I think that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and go with that. All right, so I'm going to um, take three of them because I want to. I want to get this to be pretty tight. I'm wondering. Uh, let's see, if I do that, can I get more in this? So let's see. This would be. Uh, 1.24, right? 1.25. Yeah, that would be exactly centered. So if I go out, two inches. That looks good. And then I can do this. Copy. Um, how much would this be? It would be four inches, right? Yeah, four inches. And I can do this again. It would be eight inches. And then 16 inches. I'm going to go over, I think. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just erase these. OK, so I've got that. I'm going to go ahead and Let's see, how many circles do I have? It should tell me if I just go to properties and I go to all, I have 49 circles. So let's see if I do it the other way, just making them uh, not um, squeeze in like this. Let's see if I can fit more. See CP. Let's go here, and this would be about 2.5. This would be five. This should be ten. Yeah, and should be twenty. Just delete the rest of them. So let's see how many circles I have here. I'm just gonna do a backwards. Uh, when I when I do it backwards like this, anything that crosses the rubber band will be selected. All right. So let's take a look at the properties. 44, and this one was I think it was 49. Oh, 90. No, wait, wait. I got all of them selected. All right. Yeah, 49. So this one wins. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that one. Oops. Delete this one. And this is what one of the um, shelves, I guess, would look like. So I'm going to make a bunch of these shelves. But I want to have some kind of structure, like um, a uh, like some legs I guess so it looks like this these areas would be good places to put legs and I can use cross dowels so I'm gonna go ahead and put a circle there this has to be 0.43 in diameter and I'm going to put them point, 
0.65 deep. So I just use an offset command to take this line and go down. And I want to, what would this be? Let's see. What would the center be here? 3.5. So let's see if that's correct. I'm going to go from the center here. Should be 3.5. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to go 3.5. I probably only need about four legs. One, two, three, and four. And maybe I can do some cross bracing to make sure everything is um, stable. And this is just a really quick project that I want to do to, to demonstrate this process. So let's try to do this as, as easy as possible. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for part two.